Yeah, I bet you like some of that. Not yet, mate. Can he sit? Doesn't really look like sitting. Wait. Hey! I didn't say eat up. Drop it. No. No. Tilly, no. No. Leave it. Leave it. No. Leave it. No. Oh, you're a bad dog. Let's try that again. Wait. Wait. Eat up. There you go. Yeah, mate, I know what you want. It's really too expensive for you. Yeah, super duck, you can have one. Yeah, ducky, one for you too, mate, and that's it. That's all you're getting. <laughs> super duck kid, yours, did he, eh? Oh, that's life. They're just waiting for me to drop that hand. Post dribbling. This time of year I'm feeding them twice a day right now because it's so cold. No, Po! I haven't given the command. She's hungry. No, Pace! Leave it. By now, Pace is starting to growl at me. Leave it. Your sparrow's getting a bit out of there. Good dogs. Welcome to another snap vlog off my smart ass phone, the Galaxy S22 Ultra. And currently, we're looking at Mount Arthur in the Kaharangi National Park. Mount Arthur is 1,795 metres tall, a beautiful range for hunting. This time of year the snow drives the animals down. It was named after Captain Arthur Wakefield, that's right, that's who it was named after. And I've done a lot of hunting up there in my youth. Padding over to our right hand side, that's Mount Campbell, up there. Done a bit of a sneaky hunt up there a few times too. How you going? Good to have you with us. It's Saturday, normally I'll be out hunting, but I've got mates coming today. I've got young Sneak, looking forward to that. And Thomas and Romus are on their way from the North Island. So they're coming down, so we'll be having a big cook up and uh, chewing the fat, and tomorrow we might run the dogs and see if we can stretch out a pig or two. But just me right now, Damo, who stays in the little batch that uh, my patrons paid for, they, um, that's down there, let me see it. Where is it? Just above the Land Cruiser, down there. Uh, my patrons paid for that, and a big hearty thank you to you guys, because uh, so far that's been really helpful to to who stayed in there so far. Well, Papa Joe was there last year, and now Papa Joe's working full-time in the forestry. He's got himself a job. He's off the old electric broccoli, and he's into nature. And he's doing bloody well. Actually, if you see this Papa Joe, come and say good day, mate. I haven't seen you for a while. He was there for quite a while. Probably seven months, I think. He came for a couple of weeks and stayed seven months. And now Damo's here. And the Damo's away today, but he's back on Monday. So we're going to just go down to the uh, the lake because I haven't been down there for ages. And I've got Tilly the toilet brush from the Wakefield homestead. Here she is. Come here, mate. Don't run away. Here we go. And for those of you asking, finally found out what it is. Uh, Smash's sister uh, ran and told me she had one too. These are Australian terriers, originally bred for catching snakes. And when you get a piece of rope and you start stretching it, and I might do that today to show you, you realise these cute little dogs are little animals. They are just wicked like they're... Arr! So I bred for that. Tough wee dog. But got these unfortunate little legs and they can't keep up with the big dogs. Well, I'm going down to Murray's, Murray's uh, pond because there's a couple of rabbits been sniffing around. I want to see if they're still there. And haven't been down here for ages. Have a look and then I'm going to run the big dogs. Got a few chores to do. I'll do one of those uh, sort of videos I've been doing for a while now. Uh, since I lost Mikhail, I want to say, hey, thank you very much for everybody that's helped us uh, go through that process and given us a space to losing my nephew over three weeks ago. Uh, thank you for your comments, and I haven't replied to him because there were so many, and to all you guys that knew him, I'm really sorry for your loss too. The uh, grieving process is, is never nice to go through, but it's one you can't you can't ignore and we're going through it my son Yon is doing really well he's now in university in Dunedin and I speak to him every day and I tell him every day I love him and I'm proud of him actually I tell all my kids that uh, if I can get in contact with him that is but they're so busy Dale is right now in Canada uh, she's coaching or at least instructing whitewater kayaking and I've seen some footage of her in some of the grade five she's doing over there and as a parent it's like Oh man, they push it hard, those kids. Anyway, 
let's see what's going on over here on the uh, the pond. We've got a couple of parries there. I tell a lie. A couple of mallards, not parries. Oh, they're on to meat. They've seen meat. They're doing the quick paddle away. I want to have a sneaky look around that corner because often there's a bunny or two in there by the lake. Well, that's not going to happen because we've had so much rain. It is a lake and it's come up so far the uh, beach is gone. It's actually underwater. There's normally uh, a bit of land there, but that shows you how much rain we've had. This is not my land. This is uh, my neighbour's land, Murray. He doesn't mind me going for a walk around here. No rabbits to see, really. I thought we might see something. We'll go up the top and see if there's something up there. Oh, could be a bunny there. Hmm. I'll get a bit closer. Matilda the toilet brush is really enjoying this. She works as a working dog. She works at the homestead in Wakefield. She's a comfort dog. She comforts the residents there. And while there's some residents with COVID right now, uh, she can't work there because they're isolating and she's got a tendency, well, her job is to go from, from resident to resident. And today, uh, while COVID's there, she's with me and she has been for a while. Well, I don't know if you guys can see anything, but I can't. Not a bunny in sight. You might see one because I'm zoomed in and on my phone here, I can't really tell on the screen, but there should be a rabbit around there normally. Uh, maybe there is and I just can't see it. I'm guessing that that rain has flushed all the uh, babies out of their burrows and that's what it does. Well we used to have five when I first came here, we're now down to three hiling cattle. Oh, Wally just got to his feet, say g'day. His mate uh, is long gone, he got the bullet. It was after he chased me into that pump shed over there. And just recently I shot one of the cows, she had an infection on her. And she was old, so I uh, I shot her. We ate her back straps and one of the back legs, and dog tuckered some of it. And she wasn't bad chewing either. Don't you touch that bull fence, Tilly. Don't touch that, mate. It'll fry you. You'll be Tilly the frizzled toilet brush if you touch that. They're a neat looking animal, aren't they? Beautiful. Oh, mate, come on over, say g'day. He's not sure. I think he's come to say good day to Tilly. You're hiding behind me, are you? She's hiding behind me. <laughs> hey, bully, bully. I always look at him and think about this little piece of wire that's between him and me. And his mate, man, his mate ran me straight at me. So I'm kind of a little bit careful. Because I know if he wanted to, he could smash that fence. Okay, I think I'll go now. He's give me the, the eye. We generally don't worry about bulls. Having said that, in New Zealand, five people a year die from bulls, and quite a few get injured. Most of it's in the stockyards, eh, or in the trucks, in the yards, getting squashed by them. One person a year dies from a ram, too, which is an interesting number. That's it. Talking to each other. If only we knew what they're saying. Probably, can you drop some uh, baitage off for us, mate? It's a bit cold. I'm hungry. Beautiful. Wattles grow and are considered a pest in New Zealand, but I've said it before and I'll say it again. They are winter flowering and there's a lot of feed for bees and birds in them, so they do provide a lot of feed. This is all I've got left from my crop of garlic last year. I planted garlic in here two weeks ago and as you can see already, see that? That there is a garlic already starting to come up. It's the first little sprout right there. So we're already on the way to them coming up. You're supposed to plant them apparently on the, the shortest day and harvest on the longest, but I was a wee bit late, but they're still growing. And uh, this is a real winter garden. It's got the... Uh, net to keep the birds off so I need to put a bigger crop in because this won't last us another six months we'll have to buy garlic the old front door ladies air gun I'll tell you what for wonder you girls are doing bloody good we're getting a lot of eggs off you <laughs> haven't been here for three days so it's gonna be a bit messy I think oh gee they pile up quick Yeah, guys will come in to see me I'm taking your eggs. Oh, there's a heap in there too. The dark box. The dark box, for some reason, other than the shit that's in there, produces a lot of eggs. They all like to go down the far end. 
maybe they're safe in there, they feel safe, but it's always got heaps. This is great for winter. We've got plenty of eggs for the boys when they come to date. Thanks ladies, I'll come and top your feeder up later on. Yeah mate, I hadn't forgotten about you. I think we can assume that uh, Super Duck is a female. That ain't for you, dog. No. Ducky's into it. Super Ducky's been actually pigging out all the feed. And Ducky's been missing out. So it's good to see Ducky catching up. Gotta say, they've also been feeding the sparrows quite a bit too. Hey, Po. Hey, Bigsy. Hey, Pace. Who's that, eh? Come on. Here you come. Oh, calm down. Who do you think you are? Should eat you for lunch, mate. Right, how about some manners this time? Otherwise you're gonna get in trouble. Here you go, here you go. <laughs> I don't know you should care about it. You pulled your blankie out of your box, have you? Stay, stay, stay. Hey, Pace, Pace, Pace come. Back in your box, get in your box. Let's try that again, eh, stay. Oh, I can see his butt collars ran out of pa Pace, I didn't say get out. Pace come, Pace, in your box. Get up, stay. What else? No! Pace, come! We'll try that again. Stay! What I was saying was, your bark... No! That's not the command! Pace, come! Try it again. What I was saying was, your bark collar... has run out of power. Stay! Pace! Get up! Stay! Where you go. Man, you can tell he needs to be hunted. That's a bad sign when he starts doing that. He needs to be doing what he was bred to be doing. That's chasing pigs. Tomorrow, Pace. Now you can't see it, but she's got a lamb in tow. I hope it's okay. Lying down the grass. There it goes, just poked his head up now. That's good. Look at the, how fat this bloody ram is, would you? There's so much feed now. He's fat. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at his belly sticking out. But the merino, she's got a wee lamb. That's it there. Mate, you are fading away to an elephant. Look at the size of this guy. Holy shit. Well, tomorrow we're going to wrestle you and we're going to dag you. That's right. I'll get one of the boys to hold you down while I give your ass a clean because it's gotten too bad. It's overdue. That's right. Now they're all coming over. Well, we'll give them some, some sheep nuts, I suppose. That lamb's looking healthy, looking good. Man, it's growing fast. It's only like four days old. Yeah, no, it's looking really good, isn't it? You're looking good, mate. So here's a question for you guys that know about sheep, because I don't. At what age do you drench your lambs? Because I know the worms will kill them. Uh, what's that thing also you do for their, their kidney? Is it, is it pulpy kidney? Is that the name I'm thinking of? Give them a wee scratch on the inside of the leg. Oh, she's having a drink now, good. Tearing into it. She had twins last time, so... Uh, it's good she's got just one this time. It's a bit easier on her and the lamb gets more tucker. Yeah, it's down there having a good old feed. I see it nibbling on a bit of grass on the second day. I thought it was pretty early for a lamb to be chewing grass. I should get a ring on that tail too, so we don't have a stinky bum like Creamy's got. That's Creamy over there in the far distance in Murray's paddock. I've put her in because he's got a new sheep. Well, it's one here, but getting another one. He's getting one of those valet uh, sheep, the uh, ones that, uh, what are they? They're a French sheep, I guess. So the name like valet, it must be that. There's a black face suffix, I think, that one. I don't know, actually. Someone tell me what that is. If you know what it is, I think it's a black black face suffix. I know it's got a black face. Yeah, <laughs> licking your lips as if you're going to get someone. You might, mate. Here we go. Turn to it. Tucker time. Yeah, mate, I've forgotten about you. Tucker time. They've got so much feed, they don't really need it. It's just a way to get them tamed, so without a handy dog, we can catch them when we want to, to knock that wool off them. I know my dogs are quite partial to a few sheep knots, aren't you, eh? It's the molasses in it they like. Here you go. Yeah, that lamb's looking good. Looking very good. It's growing very fast. Strong looking lamb. G'day mate, you want some of these? This is our neighbour's sheep. You want to eat out of my hand? No? Yes? No? It's always good to keep these guys reasonably tame. These guys beat up each other terribly. They just knock the shit out of each other. Don't you, eh? He's into him now. <laughs> Giving him assholes. Yeah. You see, he's got those dags on his bum and needs to come off. You need a clean. You got a dirty ass. Yes, you have, mate. Yep. Time for a, time for a clean up. We don't want any fly blown sheep around here. Not sure I'm going to take you on this walk or not, there, uh, Tilly. Last time you got a bit, uh, almost got ragdolled. Might leave you behind, not sure. 
I'll finish off with a bit of B-roll, a bit of the silent treatment. I've been making a few of those videos. What are they called? ASMR, is that right? I like it. It's easy for me to do, and uh, some of you enjoy it too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be good, can't be good, be careful, and I'll see you in the next video. Next video will probably be a hunting one. Oh, we've got six, five parries flying over right now. They're hanging around. No, we've got a heap. I've got to pan around and show you this. Got these guys above us, but if I pan down here, oh, they just just missed them. If you look over there, there's about a 12 paradise duck flying next door. Oh, I've lost them now. Sorry, I was I was excited. Oh, there they go. Just flying low. I don't know if you can see that. I'm a bit slow on the mark there. There we go over there. Heaps of them. Absolute heaps of them. There they go. You ever seen so many paradise ducks? It's just a big, big swarm of them. More up there. No, you're staying on the side, Tilly. Yep, we'll take your fork later. Oh, I can see a hawk down the paddock too. I wonder what he's feeding on. Zoom a bit closer. Mm, can't tell. Yeah, we zoomed in pretty pretty close here. It starts to get a bit pixelated. No, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, be good. At least try and be good. If you can't be good, be careful. And we'll see you in the next video. And I'll leave you with that B-roll.